Hi guys, I'm Ryan. Welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be having a quick look at how the Game Week 17 wildcard panned out and then obviously my thoughts and plans for Game Week 18. Um, but before I do start, I'm closing in on 200 subscribers. So if, you, you know, if, you, if you're enjoying the content and you'd like to subscribe uh, and help me get closer to that target, I'll be uh, super appreciative. So thank you. Now I finished game week 17 on 80 points. I think my rank's down to 622,000. So another red arrow, which kind of follows the trend of around game week 11 to, to game week 16. Um, it's annoying, but I'm not going to get too depressed about it. It's, it's FPL and, and hopefully my luck turns. Um, one area where I didn't get much luck, and, and this was a, a late change that I made, um, was bringing in Rhys James for Kukurea, and that meant I had to bring Everson in for David De Gea. So it's it's cost me a lot of points, and, and probably you know that was that was the difference between a green and a, and a red arrow. So a bit annoyed with myself, but I saw a video of Rhys James on Twitter smashing in a rocket from maybe twenty yards in training, and I thought well, he's back. But the reason I hadn't put him in my team initially, which is because of his fitness been you know struggling to get a consecutive run of games for about 12 months so I'm not sure why I did all that planning I made a a, a conscious decision not to put Reese James in my team only to kind of rip up what I'd done to force him back in at the last moment so it's, I've only got myself to blame on that front but um yeah it's it's one of them where you think why didn't I just leave my team it was just you know you just keep tinkering and keep tinkering and it, it never really works out now the next one um it's not really, you know, this isn't a massive disappointment, but it's the fact that Trippier outscored Botman, doubled his points. It's it's not surprising the fact that Kieran Trippier got an assist. Um, my rationale in game week 17, in the video, I kind of said I expect to Trippier to, to outscore him. Um, but ultimately, I didn't think Trippier was going to get an assist or a goal every week. And therefore, you know, it might start to even out, particularly in terms of points per million. Uh, didn't go very well for me in the first week, but ultimately I'm happy that Botman started because it could have been Dan Byrne and Shah in the middle and Trippier getting 12 points and, and Botman maybe getting a point from the bench. So is what it is on that front. The annoying one is Miguel Almiron. So if I didn't have Fernandes in my team, it would have almost certainly been Almiron. And then I could have kind of distributed those funds elsewhere. Um, I can't keep ignoring that either. I think if you don't own Almiron like me, He's almost single-handedly destroying your ranks. I think I, when I looked on live FPL, he was like ninety percent effective ownership. So I can't carry on not owning him if he's, you know, if he's going to keep up, keep up this goals and assists. Uh, and then Fernandez, he, he created two big chances. I think Anthony missed one. Martial might have missed the other. So on another day, it could have been a decent double-digit haul, but wasn't to be. But rather than dwelling on, on, you know, looking at hindsight and what the perfect combination would have been, there was quite a few good picks that, that went my way. So first one was Salah. I've not owned him all season, so it was nice to, to see him haul. And I think his effective ownership for me was down at like 30%, which was quite surprising. Uh, I was trying to force in Kevin De Bruyne before I went with Salah. So, you know, that there's that's a, quite a big swing. Harry Kane had him in my team all season, but he could have been a player that I took out. Again, scores, gets one bonus point. Um, Carl Walker, you'll see him on my bench if I keep going down. Um, he was obviously starting. If I hadn't had Carl Walker, it would have certainly been Jao Cancelo. So if you're going to bench a City defender, at least make sure they're 4.8 million and not 7.2. Um, you know, going forward, Cancelo's going to start. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not starting to say that he's a bad pick, but just for, for game week 17, I guess that's that's a positive for me there. Um, Martinelli and Rashford, they, I think they're the two best value picks in the game with Almiron and, and maybe Trippier. So um, I'm glad that I've got both of them in my team. And then the other one is just Greenwood. Um, I, I wasn't sure if he'd start. He did. He got an assist, played the full 90 minutes. So I think if you're going with two premiums up front like me and, and maybe a bit of fodder on the bench, he's probably the best pick at the moment. So... Um, fairly happy with that. Now, looking forward to game week 18, you'll see a graphic on, the, on your screen now, something that takes me far too long to create. Um, I'm currently going with a 3-5-2 and I'm not making any transfers. So there's there's a few 
headaches here that this creates. I think the first one is the fact that if Carl Walker doesn't play again, then Patterson's coming in and he's got to sit away. And even on, you know, even if you come on for a point or two points, so be it. But I have a feeling that it was such a bad performance by Everton and the fact that there's murmurings amongst the Everton fans again that maybe Lampard's not the man. He might just opt for that experience in Seamus Coleman. So I, I can I can envisage a situation here where I end up with 10 players, which wouldn't be great. I think the other issue for me here is that Ward in goal against Liverpool, they're probably going to get trounced there. I think Liverpool look confident again. So, you know, I mentioned that I took the hair out last minute that I just, it's just another frustration. I'm not too sure why I did it. Um, but it would require a minus four to change my goalkeeper and I'm not doing that because you'd be lucky just to to uh, to break even on that front. So going to be a 3-5-2. The only way I make a change to this is if we get some news about Walker, you know, maybe Pep just says you know, he had a tough, tough World Cup, played a decent amount of minutes for him and, you know, they've got other options at the moment. They've, they've got plenty of alternatives and just going to keep resting him. I think I may then consider moving out Reese James. As I say this, I'm kind of going over in my head, would I bring Kukurea in? I'm not too sure. Owned him previously in, in the season in FPL and in Sky Fantasy. Um, and he was often getting 45 minutes or missing a game. And not sure I want to go there again. I kind of, I should learn my lesson from from that previous experience. Um, obviously, Ben Chilwell was out and they've got some double, well, I've got a double game week coming up in 19. But I'm just not convinced he's the option. I think alternatively, Kepper could now be the man, I think, for, for that double game week if you want to, to get a Chelsea defender in. But I think as it stands, I'm happy to go with this team. It means I don't have any benching headaches. I'm almost certainly going to lose some value in Reese James, but I've never been an FPL player that gets too concerned about that. So I think going into game week 19 with two free transfers, with a clearer idea of how Fernandez is playing, because I still think he just needs a goal to kind of kickstart his season. Um, and, and, you know, the, the floodgates might open for him. But I think for now, this is this is how I'm going to line up. I think if I was going to make a transfer and, and maybe just touching on a few players that I'd definitely be looking at right now, I think I've already mentioned Kepa. I think Almiron, if you don't own him, it's... Um, if you can fill him in, I'm just trying to look at my team, maybe something to with Fernandez and, and Andreas. Maybe I could work one of them out. Um, and and Mason Mount's the other one. I think Mason Mount is obviously in favour with Graham Potter. He's probably one of the only players that is almost guaranteed to, to start the match. So maybe I could do something like Walker and Fernandez out and Almiron and Cancelo in. I still think Cancelo is a good option. So that's, yeah... There's obviously various other players, you know, you're looking at Mitrovic with the, the double game week coming up, but I don't trust his fitness. You know, obviously he's going to be super popular this week, but he's one that I just, you know, he tends to score in, in bunches and then get injured. So for me, I'm happy with Andreas to kind of uh, be my one Fulham option. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at. I think another red, another red arrow would be pretty gutting. And I think, you know, it's probably around game week 11, game week 12, I was saying that I'm, you know, I'm now almost 40 points off the top 10K. That's double now, that's 82 points. So it's looking, it's going to be pretty tough, I think, to to claw that back. But at the very minimum, I want a top 100K finish. So I need to start making some progress soon. Obviously coming up to the halfway point of the season. So let's see what happens. But for everyone else, I hope you have a good game week. Hope you get a green arrow and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.